confirmation production confirmation means physically product is assembled mm. okay now we are moving that product into warehouse we are moving that product into warehouse that yeah. is called the goods receipt okay? okay now we are today we will discuss on the goods movements moving the product to yeah to warehouse warehouse or you can say storage location okay uh, storage. so here we have first we have consumed your raw material you have consumed like raw material like tire i have used and i have assembled in car right okay that mm -hmm. is called the goods issue consumption goods issue means consumption of your raw materials okay goods issue you are giving is issue okay you are taking is goods receipt yeah okay this is one part and another part is you will do the goods receipt also goods receipt means okay uh, keeping you can say fg product fg in warehouse okay i'm sorry keep, keeping keeping fg what oh, yeah F finished good in warehouse warehouse means your storage location uh goods in warehouse this i cannot yeah. understand yeah you have produced now car okay in production uh -huh. line you have mm. produced it painting and everything is ready so then what you will do you will keep it in a warehouse warehouse right. or it is called the go down warehouse store yes. location you need to keep that okay right. that that is called the goods receipt well you uh, the goods movement you did it uh, from a warehouse i'm sorry from the manufacturing area mm. to the to the warehouse that's called mm. goods issue yeah. yeah that is called goods receipt your production line to warehouse is called the goods receipt production line to warehouse is called good receipt correct okay so this goods issue or goods receipt the differentiation we will do from the moment type right okay goods issue means moment type is 261 goods receipt means moment type is 101 goods issue okay okay and in olden days maybe in ecc you have a different transaction codes for these goods issue goods receipt like mb1a mb1b mb1c Mm -hmm. all mb starting with mb transactions are there in ecc for all individual goods movements wise but mm -hmm. in s4 they have removed all these transaction codes and they keep only one transaction code that is migo okay in s4 uh, we have only one transaction migo for all types of goods movements Okay, okay, repeat one more time because olden days I remember that MB1, MB, they all uh, has a yeah. transaction codes and that yeah. was in the old, uh, old version, right? Yeah, correct. Okay, in ECC. then in ECC, then what happened after that? In S4, now we are working on S4 HANA. In HANA, okay. we can use MIGO? Only MIGO. Okay, you don't okay. have MB mb one year transactions okay in hana and mm -hmm. uh, uh you we can use migo in hana but in hana you cannot use mb one a or mb one two correct i see okay 
okay now i will show you the goods issue and goods receipt okay before goods issue actually goods issue means your entire stock should be there but we have not done any goods movements for the tire i am going to the md04 honda tire so no, i'm sorry for honda say, say one more time the, the earlier you say something about the tire yeah tire is a raw material we right. don't have stock for this tire yeah because okay. we buy this tire from the yeah. third correct so how to buy is the this is actually the mm part but mm -hmm. i will show you how to do this one also buying okay so for example after mrp system generated purchase requisition with this quantity okay mm -hmm. this purchase requisition this mm people they will convert this into purchase order okay okay how to convert is you can click on the details and here you click on purchase order okay just one second please one second now i am doing purchase requisition uh -huh. purchase order uh -huh. okay close this okay now this is the previous i shown you the screen uh -huh. you select this uh -huh. and click on adapt yeah so in the right side you will get all the details material your vendor purchase organization and everything okay okay uh -huh. so then you can directly save it i see click on save okay 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 it's got saved uh -huh. so you got you can see standard po created the number is 4 Zeros to sixty one, okay. and you can click on refresh button. Mm -hmm. So then your purchase order will come here. Yeah, it's from uh, from PRD to change to PO item. Yeah, correct. Not PRD, PUR -E REQ purchase request. Ah, uh, yeah, but you did it the uh, this one, right? PO item. Yeah, PO item. It become as PO item yes. after conversion. Uh -huh. now next is for example uh, for this uh, now purchase order you have given to the vendor and the vendor will uh, um, supply the material correct okay when okay. he supply in uh -huh. sap okay i will write down the steps here in sap purchasing then you, process okay then you yeah then you issue the purchase requisition and then convert to purchase order okay after this you need to do the goods receipt after the purchase order then you give the uh, hold on one second okay purchase order will uh, you can give it to the vendor correct and that the is, vendor will supply the material correct and then after that what yeah after that you need to do the goods receipt against that purchase order in sap goods receipt i see okay big yeah exactly so this d04 and this is md04 and goods receipt all movements is in migo only okay yeah now in sap for example you want to enter the old transaction code mb1a okay r1c mm -hmm. so yeah, it will say you can see transaction mb1c is absolute okay mm -hmm. because we are using s4 hana system okay okay so now i am opening the migo transaction code mm -hmm. goods receipt you can select here option goods receipt mm -hmm. and here you need to select for a different purpose different types you need to select 
we are doing goods receipt against purchase order purchase order yeah okay you mm -hmm. select that option and enter your purchase order number this is our 261 is our purchase order mm -hmm. and click execute button i see okay so see. in the bottom you will get honda plant quantity all the details you will get from the purchase order okay yeah okay here you enter storage location enter storage location and in the bottom tick mark item okay yes yeah, save it or post we can do both so in the bottom you can see document is posted okay now yeah. stock is there you can check in md04 also earlier the stock is zero okay uh -huh. earlier the stock of tire is zero now i am just refreshing it so now you can see we got the stock now okay if you want you can check this stock in mmba also this is mmba transaction code mm -hmm. enter material plant mm -hmm. and execute mm -hmm. you can see the stock 1850 okay okay uh -huh. so whatever i explain now is mm process yeah mm team they will do okay yeah yeah when you check the stock it was a mb what was the transition transition code mm mm i'm sorry mm stock overview yeah what was just i type here you can see 